when buying a brand new motorcycle, before you even go to the dealership, make sure that you have done your homework. Do some research first before going to the dealership. And you know what? As much as possible, do the dealing over the phone. Before you go to the dealership, as much as possible if you can, make the deal over the phone. When I bought my 2009 Kawasaki ER6 and naked bike, I made the deal over the phone. The original MSRP of that model is $7,000 something. seven three or seven five. You know, excluding the freight assembling fee, DMV fee, blah, 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 etc, etc, etc. But when I bought my ER6 and naked bike, I made the deal over the phone. I did call for Kawasaki dealerships. And this particular dealership in Ventura County gave me the best deal, the best price. So that's what I did. I made the deal over the phone. I told the salesman that my offer is $5,000 out of the door cash right now. And he said, all right, let me talk to the owner and then I'll get back to you. So after half an hour, the salesman get back to me and he said yes. He said that the owner said yes. So that's what happened really. I made the deal over the phone and then when I went to the dealership the following day, I gave them the cash and filled out the paperwork and that's it. No more dealing in the dealership, no more BS talking, blah, blah, blah. So I gave the cash, filled out the paperwork and brought home the bike. And that's what happened. Because if you will go straight to the dealership by not even calling or trying to make the deal over the phone, man, the result most of the time will be catastrophic. Catastrophic for the buyer. Because when you go to the dealership, don't trust those salesmen. Those salesmen will lie, will say everything and anything to you just for you to buy, just for you to bite their BS. Because when you go to the dealership, of course you have this excitement in you. You know, you are anxious to buy the motorcycle that you want to buy. So most of the time, especially for the new buyers, for the buyers who don't have enough experience, man, the result, like I said, most of the time is... And folks, you have to remember this, alright? Don't show any kind of excitement to the salesman who is talking to you to the salesman who is dealing with you because if that salesman finds out that oh this buyer is so anxious to buy the bike that he wants to buy man the result is not going to be good for you because after you filled out the paperwork after you bring home the bike Man, after a day or two, you will realize how stupid you are. You will realize how stupid you are by biting, by eating their lies, their BS. You will be like, man, I bought a Ninja 250R. The MSRP should be just $4,500. But how come out of the door... I paid or I'm paying $7,000. See, so you got ripped off. You know, because all the, all the dealerships will do the best they can to rip you off. So, 
like I said, before you go to the dealership, make sure that you have done your homework. Do some research first on the internet and do the best you can for you to get the price that you want for the bike that you want to buy. And like I said, as much as possible, do the dealing, make a deal over the phone. That's the best way to do it. The second best option that you can do is do some research, do your homework, and then go to the bank, get your cash, put your cash in your pocket, and then go to the dealership, and then talk to a sales guy, show the cash to that sales guy, tell that sales guy, hey look, I have $4,000 cash with me, and I want to buy a 2012 Kawasaki Ninja 250R. I'll buy it right now. I have $4,000 cash with me. I want it. $4,000 cash out of the door. I'll buy it. I'll get it right now. Take it or leave it. Because, you know, it's a psychological and mental game. If that sales guy finds out that you have the cash, that you have the money, 100% all the time, he will talk to the store manager or talk to the owner of the dealership because that sales guy will do the best he can to make money. That sales guy will do the best he can to get the commission out of the sales. Now, if the owner of the dealership rebuffed your offer, then so be it. Tell them, all right, I have $4,000 cash with me. You don't want to accept my offer? Then so be it. I'm out of here. And then for you, when you get out of that dealership, then go to another dealership. Simple.